Welcome back to Is It Playable? In this video we'll be taking a look at whether Ghost in the Shell standalone complex is playable with PCSX2 within RetroArch. Now I think I know the answer to this, and it's kind of annoying. The game is perfectly playable, like the performance is great. The issue is the game doesn't allow you to proceed, and it seems to be an issue within PCSX2 standalone as well and the only way of actually getting around it is by getting a save from further into the game. Yeah, seems to be. It won't take long to get to it, so... It's no big deal. Essentially, you have to interact with... like a terminal, and open a gate. You interact with the terminal, a cutscene plays, or like a bunch of dialogue plays, and then the gate never opens. And there is seemingly nothing you can do to open it. I could actually try out training. Eh, whatever. Yeah, it's just one of those weird things. Just, I don't know, it's just one of those things that's really strange, because it's an, an emulator issue, which causes the gate to not open. I just don't understand how the hell that even works. Oh, if only I could, Aramaki. If only I could. I will admit, the way, um... Oh, I can't remember what she's called. But the way she... <laughs> oh no! Crap. The way she runs straight ahead just makes me laugh, because it looks so goofy. Look at her. How the hell? Okay. Gone to set. That was weird. That was a random, like... Texture glitch? Not sure. Whatever. Yeah, here we go. Boom. Wrong button. Okay, authorization terminal lock disengaged. No, it didn't. This is Tokusa. I pulled this info from the local cops. The pier security was hit by a sneak attack 48 minutes ago, and the security system was overwritten. Enemy forces seem to have the pier under their control. Understood. Ooh. There we go. But apparently this gate is supposed to open, and it doesn't. <laughs> And as I say, from what I've looked up, it doesn't seem like you can actually cause it to open, aside from just getting a save further into the game and bypassing it that way. Yep, I can interact with this as many times as I would like, but it doesn't do anything. So as a result, it would seem that Ghost in the Shell standalone complex is not playable, but I guess technically it would be if you could get a save. Um, how the hell do you jump? Oh yeah, it's R2, because of course. Yeah, if you could get a save to bypass this part, then I would assume that the rest of the game is fine. Maybe? I don't want to say that for sure though. But yeah, sadly, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex is not currently playable. And that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe for more, leave suggestions for games you want to see, and until next time, take care.